Chattanooga, Tennessee came together on Sunday to honor the victim of a horrible crime and to heal the wounds created more than a century ago. CBS's Omar Villafranca has more in our series, Unifying America. The last time a crowd gathered at Chattanooga's Walnut Street Bridge for Ed Johnson was to witness his lynching. Ed Johnson was ultimately killed on the bridge in the most violent and grotesque of ways. In 1906, Johnson was wrongly accused of raping a white woman and sentenced to death. His attorneys appealed to the Supreme Court, which stayed his execution. The Supreme Court, for the first time in its existence, first time ever, intervened in a state criminal prosecution. No one thought that was going to happen. But a bloodthirsty mob dragged Johnson from his jail cell and hung him from this bridge. Johnson's final words etched in his headstone, God bless you all, I am a innocent man. As statues of Johnson and the attorneys who defended him were unveiled, Chattanooga Mayor Tim Kelly issued a formal apology. For the miscarriage of justice that occurred on March 19, 1906. Inspiring a standing ovation. Why do you think it's important to talk about what happened 115 years ago? Well, because it was a gross injustice. But I think this process of reconciliation is really critically important for the city. When I think of this memorial, I think that it's going to stand as a symbol to where people learn that we are far better together than we are divided. Together on the road to reconciliation. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Chattanooga, Tennessee.